Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series. In this video, we'll be making a calculator by using everything we learned so far. So it's gonna be really interesting. So before we get into that, I'll need to show you one thing. So just let's say we have a function add. It takes in x, it takes in y, both are ints. It gives an output of int return x plus five. Now what if I want to store the function add to a variable. So what we can do is we can say var, we can name it, let's name it x, and we can say func int comma int. So basically this func int comma int and output of int is referring to the data type of this function as this function is taking two int inputs and giving one int output. So basically this is the data type of this function. So if I do something like fmt dot print ln, it's a nine comma eight. And if I run this, hold on, we got a runtime error. Hmm. Invalid memory address. Oh, oh yeah, we haven't declared, we have declared the function but we haven't initialized it. So we can say x is equal to add. Let's do that, let's run it and we get 17. So that's how you can store a function in a variable and that's how you create a function data type. So that's just something I want, wanted to get covered. Now let's get into the main thing. Okay, now let's get started building our calculator. So how this calculator will work is the user will add enter a start number so for example 7 then the user can say something like add 3 and 3 will be added to 7 then the user can say something like subtract 5 and 5 will be subtracted from 10 it becomes 5 and it, we will output the number 5 so that's what i want to build on so that's so let's do that by uh, creating four main functions or sorry four core functions so First function will be add, it will take x, y as int and output as int and it will just return x plus y. Let's just copy this for our subtract, multiply, divide. So let's name this subtract, multiply, multiply and divide. So this will be a division, a multiplication, and a subtraction, right? Now what we can do is we can have an if else if else loop, basically saying that if the user inputted function is add, uh, run the function add, if it's subtract, run the function subtract. However, that if loop will be really messy. So what we could do is we can uh, create a map called functions map of string key and func int int with an output of int uh, type. And what we can do is we can say add and we can map it to add function. We can say subtract. We can map it to subtract. We can say multi, multiply, multiply. We can map it to multiply, multiply. We can have divide and we can map it to divide. Let's save that. Are we getting an error function declared but not used? functions declared but not use. Okay, so so what, what so this will basically save us time for creating an if else loop. What we can just do is whenever the user inputs a function name for example subtract, we can just find it in the functions map and uh, pass in x and y numbers, two numbers basically and it will do the function, right? So now let's go down here and let's create a var current number this is basically the current number which will be of type int first what we are, what we are going to do is we are going to say 
we're gonna create function current number and we'll say fmt dot print ln enter the start number so that's gonna be the starting number and what we and to take input in go what you do is you do fmt dot dot scan and you pass in the pointer to a variable so we'll say current number so whatever user types in will go to the variable current number we're getting error we're getting errors that's just because we haven't imported imported fmt so basically the scan function is used to take input from the user by passing a pointer to a variable and it will uh transfer whatever the data user typed into that variable right so that's gonna be so that's how we'll have the start number now we'll say done is false for not done this loop will go in and we'll have our function name function name it will be a string and we'll have our number which is gonna be an end and we'll do is fmt dot scan or sorry fmt dot print ln you can say what's uh what fun what function you want to use what function you want to use or what function do you want to use so that's asking if user one subtract add divide multiply or what and we can just say fmt dot scan and let's point it to function name then let's type in fmt dot print ln enter the number so that's the number what that's the number that will be so basically that's the number uh, which on which the operation will be done that the user has inputted in a function name so enter the number oh god damn it you know we 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 really don't need to do this because it's gonna come on the next line right okay let's say fmt dot scan pointer to number so that's we have in so we have basically inputted function name and number and let's just come down here let's say if function name is equal to or we should we should say it we should keep this here so if hold on a second if function name equals to done uh we just break so we we don't need to do this we can just say for true and we don't need the done variable so that's just gonna break if the user types in done right so let's come down here and what we'll do is we'll say current number equals to functions function functions function name open bracket current number and to the number that the user entered right we can just do that and at last we can say fmt uh, print ln your number is and then on a new line let's print out the current number so that so hopefully that will work so let's save that and let's run it so we can center the start number let's say it's 10 what function do we want to do i want to add i want to add 5 to it then i want to so it's 15 that's i want to so it's now it's 15 so i want to multiply it by 10 and i'm done so hopefully we should get 150 yeah we get 150 so that's how we that's how we make a calculator still there is one more thing to go if 
I run this and if I pick the star number as uh, let's say 10 and if I divide if I divide by let's say 0 I'll get the program will panic it says integer divide by zero error so basically that's the panic so as we learned from the last video we can uh, handle a panic by using the defer keyword so we'll enter uh, so what we, first so first what we'll do is we'll create a variable called output hold on hold on let's not do that let's not do it here let's not handle the panic here but let's handle the panic uh, here so we'll just say defer func we'll create a function a inline function and we'll say if or recover or doesn't equal to nil we'll say fmd dot print ln ran into a error ran into a error and we'll just call the main function so we'll just restart All right let's run that oh god damn it let's run that so we can have something like 10 and if we say 0 oh hold on shit uh, so we have a star number let's say 10 I wanna divide enter the number 0 it will just say ran into a, a error or ran into an error sorry about sorry about my grammar and it will just restart the mean function so that's how we build a calculator and that's basically we have used everything we have learned so far or mostly everything we still haven't used something like a slice or an array but that's pretty much everything we have learned so far sorry if this video is a little bit bad because i have because this was a more of a practical video and i didn't really study anything about this i just started i just started recording it and i just went in so sorry if i made a lot of mistakes in this video but like the video if you liked it subscribe if you loved it means a lot to me and hopefully meet you in the next video where we'll be starting the actual crux of go this is all just the basics but with the next video we'll be doing the actual crux of go so so that's that bye and meet you in the next video